Today, we're asking everyday Americans what they really think about AI. Let's find out. Okay, so it's been a while since last time we visited Manus. They have done a lot of updates since the last time I used it. So in today's video, we're just going to explore the new features and we can see what we can do. One thing I'm really excited about is that they have added support for VO3. So what we can do now is we can actually use the research we do in Manus to generate videos from it. That is something, the first thing we're going to do. So I think that's going to be pretty cool. So uh, I'm going to come up with a prompt we're going to use today. So that's going to be kind of our core prompt. And we're going to head over to Manus. We're going to first kind of run this core prompt, do some research around a topic. And then we're going to convert that research into a video. So that is kind of my plan. So let me just show you the prompt I have prepared for this. So I have structured my prompt into XML tags. But the, the main idea is that we're going to do some research around the American public sentiment towards AI. So what is the current sentiment around AI in American public? What is the current sentiment around AI art and AI video? What percentage of Americans are using AI tools daily and how frequently? These are kind of our core questions. And we're going to create a report, right? So we have some instructions for the report. But we're also going to create five video scripts based on the research findings. So we can take these five uh, scripts here and we can turn those into a VO3 video, right? So we can kind of get some, yeah, very cool way of presenting our report. So yeah, I think we're just going to get started. We're going to head over to Manus here and paste in our prompt. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this. The prompt we have, right? I'm going to go here and just paste it in. So you can see we get our prompt here. I'm going to select this adaptive agent or adaptive mode. So intelligent adapt to instant answer and agentic execution. And I'm just going to do execute the prompt. I'm going to send this. Okay, so what's going to happen now is, uh, yeah. Of course, uh, what is pretty cool about Manus is uh, the next step now is going to be to generate this uh, to-do list. It's first going to read all the yeah the prompt we have here and it's going to start working on the to-do list. So we get this nice to-do list where we can kind of follow along the progress along the way. So you can see it will do the following or I will do the following. Research uh, public sentiment, analyze research findings create the video scripts, deliver the final research. And now we're creating the to-do list, so we can check this out here. So now it's gonna kind of cross off for each phase here. And I kind of like that way of working because now we can kind of follow along here. So the first thing is gonna to be to start searching for American public opinion in AI 2024. And it's gonna find these resources we can use for this. The first one is gonna be uh, Pew Research, how the US public and AI experts view AI or artificial intelligence. So now it's just going to gather context for a report. And that is pretty uh, a cool way to do this because it's very good at computer use. And I think it's just gotten better since the last time I'd used it. I tested this this morning and I haven't seen a lot of errors with the computer use part. It's very efficient and uh, it's, it's pretty quick to do research if you ask me. Next, we're gonna search, uh, we're gonna kind of update our research findings here. So you can see we are updating kind of our file. So that's gonna be researchfindings.markdown. And then we're probably gonna go back, look for other sources to kind of update this document we are working on. And yeah, like I said, it's just gonna collect a lot of different sources uh, it's gonna build a report on. And like I said, so what I'm seeing so far, it's very efficient at doing this. So this is a very good resource. This is a new one. The State of Consumer AI. This is just from last week. So that's a very up-to-date source. So I'm very, I'm very happy it's going to pick this one. So this is a very up-to-date resource it's going to use here. This is from Mars. 52% of US adults now use large language models like ChatGPT. Again, a very good source. So like I said, I'm just going to let this run now and create the findings. I'm just going to quickly show you how the to-do list work before we kind of end this. Okay, so now you can see our to-do file here. It's going to be crossed out. So we are done with phase one. And now we're going to move on to phase two to analyze the research findings. So I'm just going to let this uh, run now. And I'll take you back when we have kind of the final results from all this research. And we can take a look at it and move on to the next thing we wanted to do. Okay, so that was done. So you can see here now we have our American public uh, uh, sentiment towards uh, AI 2024-25 research report. Yeah, this looks pretty good. It's not too long. I think this is the perfect length. You can see we have a conclusion here. Uh, American AI sentiment reflects society in, our tra society in transition. 
pragmatic adaptation despite persistent skepticism. This disconnect, the disconnect between behavior and awareness indicates AI has invisibly integrated into daily life. Okay, that's pretty cool. So that's a kind of conclusion, but I wanted to focus a bit more on the sources it picked for this. These are some really good sources to write this report from. I, I looked at them and they're all from 2025. They are kind of recent and I was very happy with the choices it made around this uh, source picking here. Uh, American sentiment research findings. These are mostly numbers. If you're into that, we have an analysis and synthesis of this research, a bit more compressed maybe. Uh, so that's pretty good. But I was looking forward to kind of the AI sentiment uh, video scripts. So let's take a look here. So script one, that's going to be the intro. It's going to be the host say, today we are asking everyday Americans what they think of uh, AI. Let's find out. Yeah, that's good. Second script is going to be a street interview. So the interviewer is going to ask, do you use the AI daily? I use weather apps and Netflix every day, but I don't uh, really think of that as AI, you know. So what is interesting here is that it picked these interviews based on kind of the findings in the report. One finding was that 99% use AI enabled products, but only 36% recognize this as AI usage. Pretty good, pretty interesting. Uh, coffee shop interview, that's good. So uh, how do you feel about AI art? I use it for my kids school project sometimes, but I think, uh, but I worry it's cheating, it's complicated. 54% report AI increases creativity, but 53% avoid disclosing AI use. Pretty on point there. Tech conference interview. Are you excited about AI's future? Uh, I see the benefits at work, but honestly, I'm more concerned that excited about where all this is heading. Uh, findings because of this, 51% more concerned than excited. Despite 61% seeing positive impact. So that's a very clever way to uh, state this. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, I think Manus did a good job here. And we have the outro that's going to be, uh, yeah, it's just an outro. So, yeah, I'm kind of happy with this. I think this looks pretty good. So it's going cool to it's gonna be cool to convert this into videos. But first, I did one more thing. I said, create an interactive website with the findings and report. So hopefully now, you can see we are still working on it. Uh, yeah, we are ready to deploy this website. So a few weeks ago, I did a presentation and I actually did create a website uh, for my presentation instead of doing slides and it worked out perfectly. So I'm going to keep doing that forward. I just needed the URL. I didn't really in theory need a computer either. I can just click on my URL at the presentation site and everything was there because I did deploy it. So let's see now we're going to deploy this research report as a website here and yeah. Now uh, Manus is going to test this, maybe using the computer use, let's see. Okay, so it says it's deployed, so let's check it out. Here it is. Oh, this looks nice, right? So here we have everything about the report, the AI trust paradox. 99% uses AI daily, 20% are conscious AI users, 61% have used AI the past six months, that is kind of our headlines. We can dive deeper into the research here. You can see we have some graphs, pretty cool. The awareness gap, yeah, we talked about that. And if we dive deeper in, we have other things here, that's pretty cool. Weather apps, here are kind of some demographics. So everything about this was created by just prompting, create an interactive website about the report. So I could log into this and I could, we could have done this in like a presentation style if we wanted to. So yeah, really impressed by this. This looks pretty cool. But now we want to do the videos, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back up here. I'm going to download this markdown file. Download as markdown. Okay. So we're going to start a new task now. And you can see here we have something called video. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach the file and we get my scripts. And I'm going to do a prompt here. I'm just going to do uh, generate the five video clips from the script prompts. Okay. So let's run this. So now I think we're going to get prompted to select what kind of video model we're going to use. And I, here you can see now to get better quality on the video, Manus recommends using the new VO3 model. Yes, I want to do that. Would you like to proceed with VO3? Continue with VO3. Perfect. Okay. That's it, right? And how easy is that? Now you can see we are generating the first video. That's going to be the intro. Then we're going to move on to the second script, right? And that's going to be kind of the, yeah, 
uh, the other interviews, street interviews, and so and so on. So I'm just gonna let Manus generate all the videos, and then we're gonna take a look at them one by one. Uh, right, video generation can be a bit hit and miss, but it's gonna be interesting to see uh, how many of these uh, are usable. Okay, so that was done, so you can see here now, we generated script 1, script 2, script 3, script 4, and the outro video. Perfect. So what I went ahead and did is I went to Premiere Pro, I put everything together here in like one video, I added this logo here, Manus, and I'm gonna export this and let's watch the full thing and kind of see how we turn this report into uh, like a video segment of this. Okay, so let's watch this uh, full clip and yeah, let's just watch it. Today we're asking everyday Americans what they really think about AI. Let's find out. Do you use AI daily? <laughs> I use weather apps and Netflix every day, but I don't really think of that as AI, you know? How do you feel about AI art? I use it for my kids' school projects sometimes, but I worry it's cheating. It's complicated. Are you excited about AI's future? I see the benefits at work, but honestly, I'm more concerned than excited about where this is all heading. And that's what Americans are saying about AI today. Stay curious out there, guys. And yeah, that was it. I think that was pretty good, right? I think it was pretty cool. And it kind of got this nice view with the logo here and everything. So I want to try one last thing is that I want to take... Uh, remember we had this uh, creative website here. So I want to see if it is possible to upload this video to the website. I haven't tried that, but let's see what happens. So I'm just going to upload the file and I'm going to ask something like... Is it possible to integrate this clip into the website? Uh, I haven't tried this. Let's see what happens. If it doesn't work, yeah. Maybe there's something they can do in the future. But let's see now. Uh, I'm just going to close this. So it's thinking. I'm just going to watch what it responds here. Uh, okay. So let's see what happens. I'm going to let this run. And I'll be back uh, if we get this integrated into our deployed website of this research report. Okay, so what's pretty cool now, you can see we are actually testing out our website in uh, the computer use here. So you can see we are checking out uh, behind the scenes. See how authentic street interviews bring our research to life. Uh, so let's see if this is going to work now. I can see the, the video here. Pretty good. Okay, that was done. So it says it was successful. We have integrated the video into our site. So let's open this up. Yeah, we still kind of have the same site if you scroll down here now. Okay, but now we have something called behind the scenes. See how authentic street interviews bring our research to life. Uh, we have some hallucinated uh, research approach here. Uh, but let's see now. So, okay. Today we're asking everyday Americans what they really think about AI. Let's find out. Do you use AI daily? Yeah, that is cool, right? So that worked perfectly. We got that into our site now. We even have kind of a section for it here. That's called behind the scenes. Very impressed, to be honest. That worked very smooth. So yeah, I think that's it. I think I'm very happy how this performed today. And I didn't spend a lot of time on this to create this full website with all the research. We have the research report. We have the video. Everything integrated, deployed. I think I've spent like maybe uh, an hour maybe, something like that. That is not bad at all. Uh, and we just dipped our toes into what you can do with Manus now. If we look at kind of other exploring use cases we can use, there's a bunch of stuff. Uh, I didn't have time in this video to go through everything, of course. Uh, but really impressed with the new update from Manus and I definitely recommend go check it out. It's pretty cool that we kind of have all this integrated stuff, especially with the video generation. That's something I really enjoy. And we got a very good uh, VO3 model. That's important because we can have native audio in into that too. That means that we can, can be really creative when it comes to creating these integrated uh, videos into our website, for example, or slides or something like that. But yeah, like I said, definitely go check out Manus. There's a lot uh, has happened since the last time we visited this AI agent on the, the channel. So you can find a link in the description. Go test it out. Uh, and yeah, thank you for tuning in.